पवन पवित्र झरण मुझ हैया मया करे
Let us relax, bring our mind, our desires and all our fantasy to the center of peace. Start the peace from the top of the head. only feel the peaceful vibration soothing pleasant and completely helping to relax all the tension gradually slowly dropping down no burden of the day no grievances of all happen in the day we have to drop all the things we cannot take all the grievances beyond the grave we have to drop we have to live with the vibrations of friendly feeling but it start with the peace when we meditate and relax and feel the soothing touch of peace we feel the presence of god god is not a noun god is
a soothing and a helping touch of the vibrations. Peace is God and God is peace. They are all synonyms. When you say God, you feel in you a creative energy generator, a energy generator, generator, generating energy. And this energy generated transforms the material energy into electrical energy. The matter becomes electricity generator. And we are going to make this body this human birth with this generating energy into divine energy. My friend, feel peace, meditate on peace, experience peace, and allow the peace to touch every part of your body, every part of your soul. And you start from the top of the head, you can say illumining peaceful vibration in your head, no anger, no jealousy, no negativity. This is the seat of God. Your top is the seat of God. Don't allow this polluting and destroying energy of hate, ego, greed, jealousy, competition. My friend, it is in our hand. Don't ask God to do, because God is not outside, it is inside. And we have to do. Peace. Take charge of yourself and every thought, every vibration color it with peace. You have not to go outside to visit the holy pilgrims. It is here you have to visit on the top of your head. In your neuron, in your thinking, each choice you make, you make the difference. And with the each choice, you are, we are creating our future. Please, in this peaceful state, visualize and realize 
واٹ چوائس یو آر میکنگ ایوری ڈے ان یور رش ان یور کراؤڈ مینٹیلٹی یو ڈونٹ ہیو ٹائم ٹو سی یور سیلف یو آر فارچونیٹ دیٹ یو آر ہیئر ٹیک اینڈ ٹائم ٹو بلیس یور سیلف اینڈ بلیس ود پیس پیس اینڈ میڈیٹیشن الاؤ دس پیس ٹو پرمیٹ gradually and slowly in every part of your body from the top to the slowly slowly to the brain in your eyes in your mouth in your ear you feel the touch of peace in your throat Gradually it is permeating downward and from the throat it is gradually descending to the heart. The heart is in rhythm. No tension, no worry. no negativity in your heart anybody who meditates with the peace in the heart will not have any time heart attack because soothing presence of peace is giving such a healthy touch and you are holding the presence of God in your heart along with the peace. We are not alone, my friend. We are carrying the presence of God. When this peace goes out, we are out. We are here alive because of peace and vibrations. And it is working for so many years. Please meditate and be a little serious to understand yourself. This heart is working without battery, without electricity, without generator for 90 years. This is the powerhouse of God. Ninety years without generator, electricity, no outside anything, it is working. But the day you lose peace and you become violent and take wrong food, wrong thought, the wrong emotions, you get a heart attack and they die. If you want to live long, and you want to live, we all want to live long. But we have to follow the principle. We have to follow the practice. 
we have to be our own friend not to hurt with negative thoughts please give little serious thought how many time you are hurting yourself with anger you are angry towards somebody but reality the anger is in you burning that man does not take that woman does not take it remains with you and you are hurting yourself because of others what a ignorant person he is living always anger jealousy hate dislike how can we live with this kind of tension what the body can do as long as this tension we are carrying today we are fortunate that we are here we are our friend to come home and feel peace it is a commitment to ourselves today many years ago a villager in rajasthan met me in wilderness and what he simple in the native language he say tu kisko mare nahi tujhe na mare koi it was in hindi he say if you don't hurt others nobody will hurt you very simple thing and he say i don't know anything i know only one if i don't hurt anybody nobody will hurt me no nobody is other you are your friend you are your enemy this is the teaching and today is a day my friend to make commitment ke my friend i will not hurt inside dweller my friend i will not hurt you for the sake of others i will not i will not take anger all kind of greed all kind of accumulation and ultimately leave the people for the just a adjective position they go on a war killing some become a president some become the chairman some become a billionaire but they are all their own enemies they go out 
and I think they are conquering others, but they are defeating themselves in life. Dear friends, our meditation on peace Please continue every day, wherever you are. As you take food for your body, breath for your living, you need this commitment to yourself. When you become angry towards somebody, Somebody does not take, but it remains with you. But to prove our ego, we hurt ourselves. I am not less than anybody. But what you are, just a breath goes out, you are nothing. They, we are the play of breath. So from this lecture series, celebration, this life is a celebration. You decide to make it, you can make it a celebration. I got it, I will make it. Appa katta vikattaya suhanam duhanayam. 2,600 years ago, Mavir mentioned that there God outside. You realize Appa Katta. Appa means soul. Katta means creator. I am the creator of my own friend or I am the creator of my own enemy. I. This is not ego. It is the eye of awareness. The moment you realize people can do anything. They can use any word. You smile. Because what he is talking is not about you. He is talking what is in his mind, in his neuron. If he, somebody calls you crazy, why you think that he make me crazy? That person is crazy, so he is thinking crazy of others, but in reality he is the crazy or she is the crazy. The craziness is in her or his mind. And we are waiting to take it. Okay, you are telling me? But that person's neurons are not working properly. That is why that person is using this kind of word. This is called homecoming. And this life, if you decide what step, by five step I have started in this series, the first thing is to start with the breathing. Every day when you go, take, take time to take deep, deep breath. breath. <clears throat> And he say, I am inhaling peace. And it goes in all body, and then slowly exhale all the tension, all the kind of negative thing go out. <clears throat> exhale. Why it is a carbon dioxide? <clears throat> What we are inhaling. What it is? Oxygen. And what we are exhaling is carbon dioxide. It's a good business. Inhale oxygen and take out carbon dioxide. Take peace. 
and a throw out tension. It's a very, and you have not to pay anybody. There is no any charge. The universe is a friendly feeling, but mankind does not understand. And the funniest thing is that when something is costly, you buy and pay money. When something is given, oh, okay, it is, it is nothing because because you don't think you have not paid anything. So if you are punished to charge, then you think, I ah, have, yeah, I bought it. Somebody buys a uh, watch, which is fifty thousand dollars in Switzerland. He goes and take it, and he shows a fifty thousand dollars watch. But he is silly. So what is the difference between this twenty dollars watch and the time he is giving? But that is the ego, the twenty-five thousand Switzerland. Tiffany. for the name because they have no respect for themselves they are becoming big with the outside thing and people say oh he has the suitcase from which company to a watch from say even the glasses also where you buy which company you can see how empty is human being how they become empty meditation you become rich you feel all right wherever you go you are carrying the presence and i have traveled all country in this world and sometime i miss the plane And in Munich, I had a, uh, a series of lectures. Munich University in 1971, and because the time difference, I came from uh, hotel to airport, and I missed my plane. And I say, plane go, and. go back to the hotel i did not have the money because it was paid by the university college and go with uh, i said all right what happened sit i was meditation it was bench i missed the plane where to go was not anything but said to good place to say nobody will say get out 24 hours i will rest here and tomorrow when my come tomorrow my again i will go back what so ever happen let it happen nothing no disaster and when i was sitting one gentleman came and he said it seems that you are thinking something may i help you i said some angels are coming your thoughts are attracting positive thought attract positive negative thought attract negative if you go in the carnival the people from all kind of the gambler will find out gambler and the people who want to see all the show so they can find out from their own group and vibration they collect they don't know but they meet in the carnival and i say yes because i have missed my plane so he say why you are here i say i had three talks in university in munich on indian philosophy and meditation he say you are teaching philosophy and meditation k 
کہ یس کہ مائی ڈاٹر شی ایز ان انگلینڈ لنڈن اینڈ شی ہیز ٹیکن دا انڈین فلاسفی اینڈ شی از کمنگ آئی ہیو کم ٹو ریسیو ہر اینڈ شی ول بی ویری ہیپی ٹو میٹ یو بیکاز یو آر ٹیچنگ دیٹ وی ایور ویٹنگ اینڈ آئی واز سے آل رائٹ اٹ ہیپن لیٹ اٹ ہیپن Take life as it comes, nothing disaster will happen. It is the fear of your mind, oh my God, what happened? I miss the thing. And they become depressed, they become all unhappy. Little bit relax, little go, let go. Life is not always it is like accurate. Life is either this way or that way. And his daughter came, and when he introduced, she was so happy. She was vegetarian, she was vegan, and she came from the Oxford. And he said, if you have missed the plane, then you come with us. And stay overnight. Tomorrow we will arrive. You will be surprised. This man has a beautiful Mercedes big car with a chauffeur. They took me there and I went and they have a guest house which is better than a good building <laughs> and say you stay here. And when they, they realize that I have written the book on meditation, realize what you are. When the book she took and she said this book, I, it gives me proper idea for how to meditate. She said, if you don't mind, I want to invite my friends. And in the evening, you can please teach meditation, show us. But you have to stay one day more. I said, all right. I have not to lose anything. So I stayed one day. And they invited 25 families, all with the Mercedes, all the rich people. <laughs> and it was, I taught meditation. And the, they became so happy. And after three days, when I left, every year I used to write letter to, once a year, always thank, and they were always remembering me. Life, take it easy. Don't make a big heavy tension, nothing to lose, nothing to lose. And every day, the choice you make, you make your life, creating. Make a good choice. Make a good thing. It is in your hand. In your hand. A man A man in the town was a very critical man and he would not allow anybody without putting into some kind of trouble and questions. So in that town, a saint, a seer came and everybody was telling this seer knows everything. And he answer any question you ask, he will answer. So this man, who was always testing everyone, went there. And he went there and he wanted to prove that he will not be able to answer the question I am going to put and he will make the mistake. So what he did, he came with the bird and he held the bird in the, in the back and holding back, he asked the seer, okay, will you tell the bird is alive or dead? And this man was very clever. 
if he says alive, then I will press the th throat of it. So it will be dead, so he will be a liar. And if he says, you see, dead, then I will free the bird. It is alive because it is in my hand. I will see no way he can win. He was holding a live bird in the back of him. And ask him, tell me, what is the bird? This bird is alive or dead? But he was a seer. He says, you want to know? Okay, yes, I want to know. Tell me, the bird is alive or dead? He says, it is in your hand. It is in your hand. Why are you asking me? in your hand. Means to make it alive or dead is in your hand. You are asking question, but he, a wise man answered, it is in your hand. And that man bowed to him, he said, you are right, you are a wise man. You answered very cleverly, but precise answer, that the bird of your spirituality is in your hand. It is alive or dead, don't ask other people, it is in your hand. How to make your life in your own hand? So the teaching is not to go outside to ask how other people are doing. We have to make okay, this life, how to make is in my hand. It is a commitment. And once you make a commitment to yourself, you have to stay with this. People make New Year's resolution. Many people make good resolution on New Year. Within three days they forget it. Now we have not to make for anything, we have to say, okay, every day I have to watch myself and start the day with these five things. First is to inhale peacefully. Inhale. Oxygen. Oxygen is divine. Oxygen is divine. And you say, peace is, I am inhaling peace. Let it all permeate in your body and take out all the tension and relax. Five to ten minutes you start with the day. As you take tea, as you take coffee, as you give nourishment to the body, you have to give nourishment to your breath and to yourself. Five to ten minutes. After that, it comes the food to nourish. And then what I have to eat? Plant-based, eat plant-based food. No animal, no any dead animal, because the animal is full of cholesterol, full of disease, and to take the life of this animal, how can we be happy taking the suffering and a curse of the animal, how can we remain healthy? Because it is full of cholesterol and the meat and the milk is full of cholesterol. It is only the baby uh, calf can digest. And that is why plant-based food. Nowadays, Many people are turning to the vegan, and you will be happy today. We have a book, it is written by all the doctors, and 125 recipes 
are in this book. And these doctors have shown the fox over the knife. There is a DVD also along with that. And when you know, try to see, okay, I don't want to hurt any animal. I will take fresh vegetable. And I am a living example for that. It is even the 90, I don't have any trouble of any heart attack or anything. Now it is peacefully I am living and working very well. Health is in our own hand. So second thing is, please try to eat plant-based food. And it is easy to digest it. and you are blessing all the animal no hurt any anybody take the blessings and when we depart from the world we are taking lots of lots of blessings yes we go with the blessing otherwise what to take from this world millionaires are dying they don't take anything only you can take is a blessing and a good feeling for yourself and realize that there is a divine in me i am not just a physical body i am a presence presence of peace presence of divinity and that is why i this all this thing are working the ear can hear the small eyes can see the whole world because there is the presence is there i am carrying the presence so this way when we live in this world there is a smile that in this world i have collected the blessing not hurt anybody plant based food exercise any thought it comes you practice not just hearing you have to hear it again and when you hear the lecture and you have the uh, cd or dvd you have to take it hear it meditate and go on ruminating and then the practice without practice the mind easily forgets which are useful thing and it collects all the negative things and you will see the longevity of negativity longevity of negativity i will tell you 100 time ke you are a good man or you are very but once i make a mistake or i use a wrong adjective you will not forget that ke chitra banu you use this bad word for me but i say i had i have used 100 time good and out of 100 one is was still 99 good things you have okay, forget about you once we remember negative word once somebody tells we don't miss it we remember it till the last day and we carry the grievances beyond the graveyard my friend don't take any grievances beyond the grave no grievances when you a time come every day i live with a smile i mitti me sab bhuve su i am the friend of all the world and this is the prayer what we have uh, having the 2600 years original language the prayer and it is translation you learn it and always they have the prayer shiva mastu sarva jagata let there be blessing to all universe so this way our vibrations are so pure and we can manage them and you feel good when you are pure then you are sure purity is surety and you say what will happen he say what will happen because i am carrying the vibrations of peace and god 
سو آفٹر دیٹ آلسو دا پیس اینڈ گاڈ ول بی وتھ می آئی ول ناٹ بی الون سو پریکٹس تھرڈ تھنگ از ایکٹیو ایکٹیو آلویز کیپ آلویز ایکسرسائز پلانٹ فرسٹ تھنگ یو ریمبر فرسٹ از واٹ از فرسٹ بریتھ 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 آکسیجن اینڈ سیکنڈ تھنگ ایٹ پلانٹ بیج فوڈ تھرڈ تھنگ ایکسرسائز ریگولرلی وتھ گڈ تھاٹس وتھ گڈ باڈی اینڈ دیر از نو نیڈ ٹو بی اے کاؤچ پٹیٹو کہ نو آئی ڈونٹ وانٹ ٹو ورک یور سروینٹ از ورکنگ دس از ورکنگ کیپ دس باڈی ایکٹیو اینڈ آلویز یو اسپرنگ ٹو ڈو سم تھنگ اینڈ یور باڈی ول ویری ایکٹیو سو تھرڈ تھنگ از پریکٹس ایوری ڈے فورتھ تھنگ از واٹ وی وی ہیو ڈو ڈے ٹاک تھنک پیسفلی اوور تھنکنگ شوڈ بی پیسفلی واٹ ٹو ڈے وی میڈیٹیشن وی ہیو سو دس وے یو آر اسٹارٹنگ دا ڈے and say, I am going today, try to think everything peacefully. And when you think peacefully, solution will be easily found in you. When you are active, intention, you make mistake. But when you go peacefully, the answer comes. So the fourth thing is thinking peacefully now the fifth thing is living spiritually and that we are going to have some time but this four you practice and the fifth will come as a climax to us so these are five steps what we are going to have and ultimately we are living the what you call spiritually so you inside you know i am a spirit here and my living is with a spiritual and a spirit is always there in the universe immortal immortality these five steps we have and take the time and one by one you practice and you will see feel and realize the presence of peace and when you realize you will feel the presence of god god is not a noun it is active vibrations and that is in us and every breath is scented with the presence of peace and god my friend we are fortunate that we have taken time to bless ourselves and have come here and this is the oasis of coming home not any religion or not believing in the outside or not converting it is you have to go and realize realization and if you realize you can make from today how to make it thank you and have a good weekend because now our lecture will be after a month mamta will tell exactly all the thing So, but one month you have to take time and meditate. Thank you. Namaste.